Hey guys, it's Nightwolf from Nerdy Geek Talk. Along here with me is also Aramis Prime. Hey guys, what's up? So, today we have a lot of new in-hand images of the Red Skull Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure wave. Yeah, the Civil War wave. Yeah. So, let's get right in. So, first, we have Cottonmouth, who... Looks pretty cool. He has, um, he's mostly, he's mostly purple. Um, he has some yellow and he has some white on his chest. He's a teeny um, bit of red on his, uh, forearm. Yeah. There you can see. And so, and it, his costume is like a, a viper or something. A snake. A snake, yeah. Uh, kind of like biting around his head. He looks pretty cool. He has no peoples, which is how he is. Um, and there's lots of... Um, like the way the paint is and the yellow, like, mouth kind of on his chest with the, the white yellow mouth, eye. yeah. White, yeah, sorry, white and the yellow eyes. Um, so lots of paint, um, like, different paint things on him. And it looks pretty cool, the eyes on top of, with the snake eating his head, um, looks good too. They're painted yellow. And so, yeah, it's a generally nice figure. There's some scales molded onto yeah, his head, too. Yeah, there's scales molded on the head. I don't know how accurate this would have been, but I would have liked if they molded the scales on, like, the rest of the areas where the mm -hmm. purple was on the body. Like, I feel like that would have been cool, but that might not be accurate, so I don't know for sure either. Yeah, I don't know a lot about this character, but um, the figure looks cool. Definitely not at the top of my list, just partly, mainly because I don't know a lot about the character, but he's pretty cool. Yeah, also, I like him, but he's not nearly my favorite this week because yeah. there are some killer figures something i forgot to mention we did get a new microphone and oh, it should be sounding a lot better hopefully so <laughs> yeah so it's pretty cool it's a lot nicer than the one we've been using the one we've been using is still pretty nice and we'll still continue to use it but this one's really nice as well so next we have captain america um Along with Werecap, Werewolf Captain America, which he comes with the head for. Um, Werewolf Captain America is one of the most famous what-if stories Marvel has done. Um, which I think it's kind of funny that they're putting it in. I don't really see it as like a super serious marketing move or anything. Um, I think it's just kind of for la not for laughs, but I think it's cool. Uh, the Werewolf head looks nice. We don't have any, any pictures um, on with the Werewolf head on the body. But, I mean, it's just the werewolf head with the hands. He does come with Pointing two. Pointing hands. One pointing. Um, one pointing with one finger, one, one pointing, pointing with, with, like, two. two? Or is that three? I can't I can't tell for sure. I think it's two, yeah. It's... Oh, no, it's all It's all like fingers. all it's like, hands he's, out. He's hiling like, Hitler. <laughs> he's, like, chopping something. Um, so he looks pretty cool. Um, I think he really looks nice. Um, there's a... We have a picture up of the shield on his back too which um i think it's cool it fits on looks like it fits on well uh he has the straps over his shoulders which i think is nice uh one thing i don't like about this figure is the mask the way the eye holes are it goes like with his eyebrows which are kind of shaped weirdly and painted on a little weirdly and i don't really like it that much i don't think it looks bad but yeah i don't i don't like it it's not the best captain america head sculpt we've gotten that i like <laughs> Most this is like our so. fifth Captain America's Legends uh, mold figure, and um, it's it's nothing special. I mean, it's Captain America. It's part of the Civil War wave. Of course, he's going to be in it because um, there's also somebody in it who relates to him. We'll get to that person and we'll talk about her. And I'm I'm well. I'm going to get him because I haven't gotten any version of Captain America yet in my mm -hmm. Marvel Legends collection yet, so I'm going to pick up this whole wave and I'll get him. So Especially cuz we want all the build build Yeah, uh, build I really a figure want pieces. the build a figure for this wave. It looks nice. We'll get to that at the end. Um the shield looks nice. It looks very clean painted. Um I don't know how well he holds it. I can't really see like the way he holds it or anything. It's always blocked. Um, by the shield itself, so you don't really see, but it does peg into his back, which is nice. The star on his chest looks pretty cool. All the paint looks pretty nice. He has a belt. He has two straps about around his arms. I don't know if that attaches to, like, something on his back when he doesn't have the shield on, or if it's Probably just straps. Not. No, I think it's just I think show. it's kind of weird that it's just straps, but I mean... I think that's better accurate. Than nothing. I think that's accurate, so. Um, normally is something, but... So next, we have Whirlwind, who's 
I think I think he looks kind of cool actually. Um, he's kind of an older character, but I like him. He's kind of um, weird looking. He is. That's just weird. the character design though. The figure mm, looks really nice. The figure nice. looks nice. Um, the uh metallic gray silver all over. I would have liked it if it was a little armor. a little shinier, but it's it's metallic mm -hmm. enough that it'll pass for me at least. Um, but yeah, I mean it's kind of it's gr it's not like matte gray but it is it's not like super metallic. It's, yeah it's not like it's, it's i wouldn't call, i wouldn't call it silver almost like, I'd, i would call it really, somewhat metallic it's like and then the green looks gray. nice so. um the green looks really nice i really like the green it's like kind of metallic but not really it's just like reflective a little uh something i'm noticing i don't know if it's common for these figures i haven't really looked a lot but there's like veins in his arms yeah that is common that's, that's on I several of the marvel okay. legends i I'm, i actually it's was just noticing weird. that i think um, they reused the biceps off of a couple other figures yeah, they I think marvel, blizzard from the hulkbuster wave and yeah. vision both had that mm -hmm. i believe i i just got those so um so he does come with uh two like buzzsaw attachments for his wrists which i don't know if nice. those come off or not uh, i haven't seen them off in any pictures huh. so i think they might be on permanently which i'd totally be okay with because yeah i mean i think it would be cool if they came off but i mean I they don't normally I, yeah, do attachments on the wrists or anything um he does not have a back peg like most figures even like um i think cotton had had a back peg even cotton though mouth, he has, yeah. or cotton mouth is that uh yeah um had a back peg but he does not because his armor covers there which i'm glad because he doesn't need any attachments on his back and you shouldn't just discontinue the armor to put a hole in if you don't need it um uh, his helmet i really like um it seems as... a little the only thing i'd have to say is that it like if you look at where his head is and where his shoulder is he's got a giraffe neck now that's yeah. cause, that's because of how the helmet is and the character design but a um, little weird to me, but I, I mean, it's still like, how it's supposed I, to be. I don't think it... The, I'm almost positive the helmet does not come off, um, but I would have liked it to have. I think that would have been cool. I know this character doesn't really take off his helmet, I guess. I still would have liked uh, that. Just, like, the ability to unmask my figures, like, that is nice. Yeah. But, again, because of the way his character design is, he would have mm -hmm. had a super long neck, and it look, would have looked even weirder without the helmet, so... Mm -hmm. It does look like the terrifying. mask is like the helmet is a little detached, piece, so it, it is. It should be able to rotate and maybe mm -hmm. move up and down. Who knows? But it might be. Able so to. next we have the best figure this wave. Mm, uh, in my opinion, Scourge. It's very close. Scourge looks very awesome. Uh, the last uh, figure images we talked about was the uh spider-man edge of the spider-verse absorbing man wave you can check that out link in the description uh and we really like at least i really liked this my favorite figure was the jack-o-lantern we both r really liked it um the jack-o-lantern figure and um it's mainly because he had lots of like paint apps and like straps on him and scourge definitely lives up to him he looks super cool he has a pistol in a holster that I th i'm pretty sure I, you could take out i'm, I'm not, not positive. sure i, I, I hope, hope you so. can yeah i hope so because i know on um agent venom has one that you can't take out yeah. it's painted and it looks really nice because it's a really nice silver but it's painted and it's uh, molded into his back the, holster, win so the winter soldier an older figure had a knife and a holster that looked really nice too but you couldn't take which the is knife nice out. detailing but i wish um, that the weapons could come out yeah this one looks like it might come out but uh, I don't know. I can't really tell. Um, but he does come with a knife and another bigger gun, which um, yeah, are rifle. both like tannish. They're like maroonish, and yeah, then they have brown. the the then rifle has like orange detailing. Scourge on it. is like all silver and black though. And he has lots of straps and ammo on him. He looks very cool. Um, one kind of weird thing. I I'm not super familiar with this character Scourge of the Underworld, but. I don't really like his ears sticking out. Um, that's probably part of the character. If you know more about him, let us know in the comments. But I just, I just find that a little weird, and like yeah, it's probably the way the his character. mask is designed. Yeah, it's just like, cause you could see a little bit of the back of his neck too, which I mean, a little weird. But his mask and his head looks really nice. The red eyes painted on, um, the black dots and the silver. Just I really like super that silver. Cool. Yeah, um, and all the straps and ammo on him 
wow, this is probably the star of the wave. There's one other figure that I really like, but we'll get to him later. So, next we have Mockingbird. Um, definitely not my favorite figure in the wave. Um, not a bad figure at all. Just, um, I don't really see it as special. Um, doesn't come with anything special except, um, uh, her staff thing. Um, that's, uh, gray. Uh, gray plastic. Yeah. It's more gray and, plastic. And, um, so her outfit has, uh, like, the buttons, and she has a molded belt that's white. And she has her, uh, glasses, goggles on her face, um, and her hair is molded. I don't know if you can move the hair at all. It doesn't really look like it. It looks hard, which I know mm -hmm. that they've had some figures with girls that their hair has been, like, soft plastic, so you're able to move the head really good. And I know from personal experience that, like, oh, crap, I can't remember the fearless defenders of the Hulkbuster Iron Man wave, the one in the red costume, you can't move her head, like, at all because she has so much hair and it was hard and, like, it inner, inner, mm -hmm. uh, I, it messed up everything. Yeah. Like, he, she got and rid of so her head articulation. This kind of like, looks like it might do that, which, I mean, I don't really like, but this figure... It looks um, good overall. It looks uh, <laughs> decent. Um, some like molded details on the back of her uh, lower legs. Um, the silver gauntlets on, or not gauntlets, but silver like wrist, um, upper arm guards or lower arm guards. Um, so yeah, nothing special. Uh, probably my least favorite figure in the wave. Um, it's not a bad figure. All the figures in this wave are pretty nice. Um, just definitely nothing special. Nothing to like super look out for or anything. So, next, we have Taskmaster, which is the other really cool figure in the way. Um, it's a toss-up of my favorite between him and Scourge of the Underworld. I didn't even realize he has two heads. Yeah. What? And Ooh, that's interesting. They are, I, like, different. Yeah, I don't they're, know. they're completely different faces. I mean... I want to say that the, the one on too. the like the one that he's not wearing is that that's a mask and that his like skull face yeah. is him unmasked. But the fact that he's and wearing a black also... hood with the the uh, one face and then the white hood with the other makes me think that they're like completely alternate heads. I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm not. I don't know the reason for that, but I, I don't like know a lot both about of them. So. He looks super super cool um very nice we do get to see him with the other head on but we'll get to that in a second uh he has his shield which looks really nice with his colors uh the yellow the darkish blue gray green, gray um and the silver. silver looks really nice uh it looks like the same thing as captain america's shield like yeah that might be a, that's probably a reuse of one mm. of captain america's shields uh there's lots of paint apps on him really like lots of gear and stuff a really nice sword it almost uh almost looks like a lightsaber yeah it's very reminiscent of a lightsaber like it's not like the handle looks nothing like a lightsaber but just the way it is it's like a black handle and then With a red the, like a leer, clearish plastic red yeah Mm -hmm. Which it looks really nice, and so um, uh, the for the pictures we see the white uh, hood skull face on it, that which looks really nice. That detailing looks good. Like yeah. it looks like his eyes are painted out and stuff too. I really like. I I think I like the other one better. The other head we see. The black hooded. The yeah. black hooded or. Dark I don't blue. know. I really like both. I might I really like, like that skull face. I don't know. They so both. Creepy. They both are super great. Uh, it's gonna be tough for me to decide. I kind of hope that this wave has um, uh, him, uh, like the case. I hope that it has him double packed, so we can have one displayed with the the black hooded head, one displayed with the white hooded head. I That'd doubt. Nice, I I don't know if he would be or not. But he's so, one of the cooler looking figures, so I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if he's double packed. Next, probably Captain America. Though. Yeah, because he has the werewolf thing. Um. So next. We have Sharon Carter. Um, this is Captain America's wife, I think, or girlfriend. Mm, or it's weird. Something. It's, it's changed a lot. Um, so she has a gun. Her hair is molded on. It's more out of the way than um, Mockingbird's was, which I like. It looks. This looks more like it might be able to move around her hair. And even if you can't, it won't it get should. in the way. It looks like it might even be the same Spider Girl. Mm -hmm. mold for the ponytail and even if you sure. can't move it around it would it still won't get in the way really of head articulation uh, that much at all um so she has like little 
ammo packs or something on yeah, her side. Yeah, I can't sides. tell if those are ammo packs or pistols. Um, Either way, whatever they are, I am very they certain they're molded in. Yes. Um, her belt, her costume looks nice. Um, very simple overall, so it's yeah. hard to screw up. Her gun... It's weird looking. Um, I I don't remember seeing that in the comics anyway. I'm sure she has had it. It does look comic like yeah it I'd looks it though, so. very weird um it doesn't look bad but it doesn't it look bad at all very it's very Especially detailed from some angles it does look really oddly mm -hmm. shaped uh so i like her facial expression i would have liked if we got maybe an alternate head or something um to put on maybe her in like combat or something because she doesn't she just looks like a regular like person saying she doesn't like look like she would be fighting or really anything um, I think the way her, her facial is. expression is just really blank. Yeah, I which really I mean, like it. I would have yeah. been fine with it if we had another head, but I feel like we should have had another head because I mean, the only extra thing is a gun with this. Um, but other than that, I think I really like Pro it. One reason I'd say that some of these figures are lacking in some ways is because for the build a figure parts, which we'll get to later, but mm -hmm. like some waves, like the Hulkbuster wave, for example, like a lot of people complain that those figures sacrificed a lot to make the build a figure a lot better and stuff. And so that may be the case with some of these figures in this wave. And like also because the, the build a like figures that. being bigger, because this build a figure looks like it's probably going to be like be able to size up to Hulkbuster. Uh, I'd say... Maybe. I, we have no idea we'll see. scale, but we'll talk yeah. about that later. So, next, we have a picture, a duo picture. We have a couple of these. Um, with Mockingbird and Sharon Carter. And I think they team up they well. They look good together. Yeah, um, I agree. They look single, much better together. Yeah, like, single with just, um, each of them on their own. I don't really like them that much, but when you put them together, they definitely look like they make a team. Um, I'm just now noticing, I knew, I knew she had some symbol on her arm, but it does, uh, Sharon Carter, it does actually have, like, black and yellow on it, which surprised me. I thought it was just black and white. It looks That's That looks shield. pretty detailed. That looks detailed. like shield to me, I can't yeah, tell. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's so small, it looks I looks like an tell, eagle. Though. I'm not sure. It looks really nice, though. You can also see Mockingbird has her weapon split. Yeah, so you can split it. It wasn't shown in the other, but it looks really nice. Um, I'm almost wondering if that was Daredevil's weapon, maybe? I think it I think might it, be. I think it might be his billy Similar, club. Similar, if not. Um, so, just, like, different colors. I like them a lot better together. They're still definitely on my favorite figures in the wave, but together... They look a lot better than they do separate. Um, I like them a lot more. So next we have a duo of Cottonmouth and Whirlwind. This is probably my least favorite duo just because they don't feel like they really go together. It's my second favorite because I, I like it better than Mockingbird and uh, they Agent both Car They Wait, both look like... Car Sharon. <laughs> Whatever, Sharon but uh, they both look pretty um nice like figures. But they look very villainous. I don't, um, I don't really like them together as a duo. Like I'm fine that they're in the same wave and stuff. Like I'm not complaining about that. They're both cool, both Civil War wave. I mean, I just they don't feel like they go together. The yeah. color schemes are so different. Their character designs are way different. Um, Although I do like them because they're both look wearing bad. very ridiculous. Yeah, they don't... They're both wearing very ridiculous they're, costumes. They're both very. They're comic book yeah. characters and they're wearing comic book esque uh, costumes. They're both very. But I I like how they look together. Very I villain. personally do. But yeah, they they're look like villains. two villains that were just very random and would team up, and I actually mm -hmm. like it. So. So yeah, it looks. It doesn't look bad, but I mean. So next is by far our favorite duo. Oh man, it's Scourge of the Underworld. And Taskmaster. And man, does Ooh, this look... One thing to notice, Scourge, it looks like his pistol's out of his holster. Yes, I yes, yes, yes. I, I don't, so, yeah. I don't see him I don't holding see, it. I don't see the red but color. But he, he's so. holding his knife. He's holding but, his knife and he's holding the red rifle, but, but you don't see any red yeah. where the holster was. So it lo I'm so that's pretty a good sure sign. that the pistol comes out. That's great. Oh man, Scourge, I... Oh. And Taskmaster, too. He's with the skull face. Which is... I think my personal favorite of the mm -hmm. two. Of I like the other head better, but they still, look so they... good together. So oh good. man, and like their color schemes aren't even the same. Like Scourge they're not the is... same. They're similar because they're both dark colors. Yeah. But then uh, Taskmaster has that white. They go together. And it just looks so like good. peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> they look super cool. 
super by far awesome. favorite duo of the wave. These are my Very two nice. favorite figures of the wave. They might they even look, be. I might even dangerous. like them better than the build a figure, and I really like how the build a figure yeah. looks. So um, we don't get a duo with Captain America. Because there's no one else, I don't he's think. He's just Captain America. And I, I don't, don't think there's a seven. Mm -hmm. There's seven. No, there's just... I mean, yeah, there's yeah, seven, seven figures, figures, so... Um, I think they could have... I think it would have been nice to see a duo picture with Captain America and Sharon Carter, but, I mean, that's fine. That's okay. Um, I think Mockingbird and Sharon Carter look yeah, probably, look better, probably together, better together, so... Um, so now, the Build-A-Figure. Freaking Red Skull... In giant yeah. armor. So one thing to note, um, apparently the there's going to be a, an X-Men wave, and it's going to come with an alternate Magneto head for this. And you can obviously tell that this is a very Magneto color scheme because of the purple and the red. Yep. But I really like how it works for Red Skull. Um, it's very fitting. I don't know if the X-Men wave is going to come with like just another body of this and a Magneto head, or if it's just going to be like an entirely different build a figure and one figure comes with the Magneto head for this. I think I would. I think I, I would like know. that better if they had a whole different build a figure, or if they so had. So like, would I. Or but if they I had... like how this looks so much that I wouldn't mind having a Magneto and a Red Skull. It would oh. be kind of cheap of them to do that, uh -huh. but. Because I, I like how much this looks, I wouldn't mind it. I think I would like it if they maybe did like a remold of the build a figure and use that for something. Yeah, that instead. That'd be good. I think that would be that cool. That would be good too. Or just even recolor it or something. Mm -hmm. Um but man, this looks awesome. Um it just he has some sort of like attachment on his back. I can't really see. It, it looks very like well. a spiky cape type thing armor it's, tiny. it's spiky i don't really care <laughs> honestly um he does only come with uh one set of hands i don't mind that much. i they're like the cool. way they are I they're wanna... they're like clawed out but they're curved mm -hmm. enough that you could pretend he's punching someone. i would have liked to have some fists too but i'm not complaining or anything because this figure is like awesome the shoulders are huge everything is just really really cool and so the red skull heads on there and it looks really nice all sorts of and i like the light purple too the light purple th spread throughout you can definitely I tell like that the, it is like, like that th this will work for magneto i don't mm -hmm. know how how it's gonna look specifically but it does look really cool i don't know if it's gonna be magneto like with a full helmet or what or how the magneto head's gonna look but i'm excited to see how it'll look mm -hmm. but i really like it as red skull too it works well yeah, and it looks uh, a decent size. Um, definitely, I don't. If it's, I don't. I saw think some it's pictures. Hulkbuster size. No, but I, I saw some. Might pictures, be bigger than Rhino. I saw some pictures uh, with it. Uh, I think I forget where it was revealed, but it was him and all the other figures, and he definitely looked bigger. I think he might just be Rhino sized. But um, I think he's a little taller than Rhino. Which is not a knock on Rhino because Rhino is Rhino an is amazing a, is building, a, build a figure. Yeah, I he is love a really him. good size and stuff. He's not bad by any means. Hulk I like his size. Man's just like the um, crown jewel of build a figure for me. But he's Rhino is definitely my second favorite build a figure. I love how they did that one, and this one may top him for me. I'm not sure because mm -hmm. Rhino is especially like. Well painted, well molded, overall amazing. And this mm -hmm. looks really good. He might take that spot. I would have really liked if they had an alternate red skull head, like a different expression or something. But I mean, we're going to be we're getting gonna another get, alternate yeah, head. It's we're gonna 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 be Magneto, get Magneto so. head. So I mean, that's cool. Um, I really hope. I'd rather them do um in the X Men wave a different uh remold of this instead of just a whole different one or the same thing. Um. Just so you could have, like, the Red Skull head on that or the Magneto head on that and keep the Red Skull head on here. I'd probably put the Red Skull head on the other one. I don't, I have no idea what it would look like. But I just feel, because this color scheme is, like, Magneto. Yeah, I agree, because I'd say that, um, like, with the Ben Riley Spider-Man figure and the Carnage, Spider-Carnage head, mm -hmm. like, if you really wanted, you could buy two of those and you could put the, you could have one be Spider-Carnage, one be Ben Riley Spider-Man. Um, but for this, it's a lot harder to do because if they just had a Magneto head and a Red Skull head, you'd have to buy all the figure parts off of eBay or you'd have to buy a whole nother wave of this to Either build way, another expensive. body. So it's expensive. <laughs> um, yeah. So you can definitely you tell could, that this, sorry, this, uh, is, you could definitely, um, like, I think it would be smart for them to remold it in another way in the next yeah. wave with the X-Men and 
to the Magneto head, so that way you can have two that are different, but similar enough that they work. There's lots of also, like, molded-in details on this that I really love. Um, but um, one thing, you can definitely tell that it was it's meant for Magneto, I think, because um, Magneto's helmet should have the same exact color scheme. Red Skull, his head is like a different darker red than the red on his suit it, yeah, which it's i'm not an fine exact with match but it looks mm -hmm. it looks close it looks enough good that together. it's not like obnoxious like that doesn't match that looks terrible i like, it's like, not like i that. just noticed that looking at it for a little while but um i still really like it together but that's why i really hope they would just make another remold um it doesn't look like it doesn't go together but it definitely looks like magneto's head will fit on it better yeah it looks like it matches it will match magneto better in my opinion but i really like how red skull wears it just looks really cool so me and aramis prime both have the same favorite figure as much as we both like taskmaster as much as i like taskmaster our favorite has to be scourge because he's pretty dang awesome especially now that we almost definitely know that his pistol comes out three different weapons on one guy all the ammo straps man and all the paint different molds and stuff man it looks so cool yeah it looks, just, really nice. it looks man it reminds me of like war machine but like the it's not super like a cool copy awesomeness anything. of because of, like the color scheme mm -hmm. i'd say and the like armored look to it i'd say like it reminds me of the awesomeness of winter soldier and, and it like, also it just combines it reminds me of it like definitely that. reminds me of jacqueline and the way they do the straps and the way he's just like super awesome you could tell I think they put way more effort into this than, say, Mockingbird or Sharon Carter. Not knocking those figures, but you could tell this is probably the maker's favorite um, figure in the wave. It kind of uh, makes me laugh, too, is that the fact that he's named Scourge, which in Transformers is a couple different characters, but one of them is Nemesis Prime, which has a similar color scheme to this, mm -hmm. a black with silver. He also has, like, light blue and some red, so... So, uh... So, thanks for listening, guys. This is Nerdy Geek Talk, the source for all your nerdy geek needs. I'm Nightwolf. And I'm Aramis Prime. Thanks so, for watching. Um, you can check out all our websites and our Facebook page links in the description. Marvel Theory um, is my website for Marvel Cinematic Universe news and theories. You can check out Aramis Prime's website, tftalk.wordpress.com, yeah, which is exclusively Transformers news. And you can check out our main page at nerdygeektalk.wordpress.com. Um, you can also for check out our all sorts of nerdy geeky oh, um, articles. You can um, also check out our Facebook page. Yep. You know, make sure to like that. And you can also hit us up in the comments below if there's anything you agree, disagree. Who's your favorite of this mm -hmm. wave? Um, hit the like button. Yep. Make sure to like and, and definitely subscribe. subscribe. Uh, remember all those links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.